Ian, thank you very much for having MTD CNC back at Mill Turn Precision Engineers. Um, things have changed significantly since we visited last. We have new machine tools on the horizon. Um, but today we're here to review the latest investment in the Microlock work holding solution. Can you tell our audience um, the reasons behind your purchase? Variable reasons. Accuracy, multi-point machining, it gives us a broad spectrum right across the whole work, work uh, envelope of the machine and the quality. Is this your first investment into Microlock? It is, yes. Won't be the last, we've already discussed it. We've had it two weeks and we're already talking about the other machines. So, so effectively it's been on the machine tool for two weeks? Yes, yeah. I know there's some kind of um, exclusivity on this component that you're making, um, but can you tell us um, what you're actually making on the machine tool and, and how you're making it with the Microlock? We start off with a solid square 316 billet. Uh, I can't discuss the product too much, but it's high value, high end, the 625 to produce. We wanted repeatability from 1 through to 625. We wanted rigid work holding to remove the materials. This was the best solution for us. And what's the material? S316. So it's hard material? Relatively hard, yeah. And how many components are you presenting to the spindle now with this new Microlock solution? 10 per cycle. And can you use this particular solution for other work or past work that you make here at Mill Turn Precision? Well, we've already discussed the other work that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, and this is ideal setup for us now but it also allows us now to fixture point every single product we do, so we repeat on datums time and time again. Can you explain that in a little bit more detail? It's like a universal datum point. Can you explain to our audience how that works? Well, the grid pattern that's in the Microlock system is perfect. It's ground to precision. Everything now we put on it will sit in the same grid lock time and time again. So if we do a fixture base for one, we can attach fixtures to that over and over again, so there's no, it reduces setup times. So yeah, effectively, you're presenting more components to the spindle, you're reducing setup times. This particular application is prismatic parts, but can you also have old round parts? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much, you can machine your jaws to suit whatever you want. And there's such a variety of jaws available. Now, with, with the, the grid plate, this, this has really impressed me, and it's the first time I've actually seen a grid plate such as this. You've worked alongside Microlock to design the grid plate. Can you explain the unique features in this grid plate and, and what you, your requirements were? Previous to this, we had our own machine table that we made. And what we did is we set the fourth axis outside the working envelope, so only the chuck face was in the working envelope. We asked Microlock to replicate what we'd done into this plate, and they've done a fantastic job. And they've also got it so that the tenons on the fourth axis are bang on centre line to the machine for us. So it's absolutely bang on. It's really impressed me. It's a shame the rotary table isn't actually on the machine, but effectively what, what he's designed for you is an extra part of the, the, uh, the, the base plate that's hanging off the, the end of the machine. It's outside of the x-axis stroke, so yeah. you're, not, you're not kind of compromising that x-axis stroke when you, you, you mount the fourth axis unit. That's right, and it, we literally just keep 10, 15 mil of the chuck inside the envelope. Yeah. So we've got maximum working envelope within the machine because of it. Sounds really, really impressive. Now, finally, Ian, it's only been on the machine two weeks, but what about a return of investment? When do you see yourself kind of getting that return of investment on this particular investment? It's already done. What? It's already done. We've already achieved ROI on this product with this component. Well, I, so. I don't think I've got anything more to ask no. you. That's brilliant. No. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers.